Hey everybody, welcome back to Noisy Works. Today we are going to test out two FEPs, namely the NFAP, also known as FEP 2.0, or this, and then we have ACF. This ACF are also known as anisotropic conductive film. So on an industrial level, the ACF works as an interconnect between a lot of different things. But for this, we are using it for some resin printing. So this video is a cooperation between me and Macflex Plate, but no money exchange hands. So yeah, take it as it is. The campaign is going to be on Kickstarter. So all the usual things for the Kickstarter are going to be true. The rewards are never guaranteed. So make sure you read all the little gotchas on kickstarter i think this is his third or fourth campaign on kickstarter so i have no reason to doubt that he is going to deliver on the fvps this will be a great opportunity to get massive spools like this one of acf or nfap now you can ask yourself why are we testing it well the latest and greatest printers like the anacubic m5s algo has also launched an msla printer and they are coming standard with the acf claiming high speed resin printing and i'm going to test out if acf is really so much better than the nfap installing the acf is just the same as the nfap i have a video about it you can watch it right there the only thing you have to watch out for is that there is a smooth side and there's a side with some rubbery texture and the smooth side should be in contact with the resin so in order to find out if acf is really so much better than the nfap i have conducted a series of tests starting with the pull test this is a solid block of resin that i have been using to pull on the fep right here in the testing machine i did quite a few tests and i lost a lot of footage but i did some retesting and i retested the regular FEP and the regular FEP is around 90 to 110 Newton and the ACF tested as low as 69 to high 80s. We can already see a 20 to 30% decrease in peel forces. Peel forces only are not the only thing that are going to make your prints look great. So I did a bunch of test prints with these xenomorphs I think from Alien where I tested quite a few speeds. I started at 45, we did 85, 125, 150, we did 200, 250, 300 millimeters a minute and I'm going to show you the results. So first of all, we started with the NFAP, where we started with the 45 millimeters a minute of lift speed. There are no defects to be spoken of. Everything is intact. This is just a nice print. Now the 45 millimeters a second is what I used to use on my Aldo Jupiter. And this took more than 10 hours to print. So I started bumping up the speed. And bumping up the speed I did to about 85 millimeters a minute. And also this print just came out great. No real defects to speak about. This is just a great print. And then the story started to change. So this is a model with 150 millimeters a minute of lift speed. And as you can see, we are starting to lose the lag and the tail didn't print. So this is an absolutely failed print. So to find out if we were close to failure, I have printed it again. And this time we did it at 125 millimeters a minute. And yet again, we have a failure. Right here, we started losing the lag. All the rest was better. We have a tail right here, but we have some severe layer lines right where I wrote 125. You can see that it was very close to failing again. If I have to give the NFAP a final number, it's going to be somewhere between 125 and 85. But I think it's going to be closer to 100 than it's going to be at 125. Then we started with the ACF and we started it big. So we knew that the 125 didn't work. We did the 150. Then I thought, well, we saw a decrease of 30% of peel forces. So I started out with 150 millimeters a second. This print came out great. We have no layer lines right here like we had in the previous print. Everything came out great. This is just a fantastic print. So we bumped up the speed again. This time we had 200 millimeters a minute. And also this time we have a perfect print. No defects to be seen. The only thing that I would say is that we have a slightest hint of peel forces right over here. But this is all by all not that bad. 
So we bumped up the speed again to 250 millimeters a minute. And yes, sir, this one came out great. No real defects to speak about. Even the layer lines disappeared right over here. So this is even better than the 200 millimeters a minute. We are almost at the finish line of the 300 millimeters a minute and it's looking great for the project. Yep, that's the sound of 300 millimeters a minute that just finished. And we did it at a whopping 4 hours and 39 minutes. So this is going to be the big reveal, the 300 millimeters a minute. This is an absolute game changer. This is 300 millimeters a minute. <laughs> Perfect print. So we bumped up the speed to 300 millimeters a minute. And again, we have a perfect print. This is just amazing. There are no layer lines right here in the leg. There are no layer lines right here in the leg. So it seems like we can go even faster than this. Well, it's time for a conclusion. Would I buy the ACF or the ANFAP? I would definitely invest in the ACF, but it comes with some caveats, which I'm going to tell you right now. The ACF is about triple the price of a regular sheet of ANFAP, which is, yeah, it's super expensive. But as you can see, we printed four miniatures at almost double the speed as we can do with the ANFAP. And, and we printed everything with this, <laughs> the resin that performed the worst in a complete resin testing gauntlet. If you want to see the resin testing gauntlet, click right there and you can see this is not a very good resin. It's a bit weak, it's a bit smelly. I hate it a little bit. <laughs> Then I'm going to give you some pointers. The ACF is about double as thick as the ANFAP. The ANFAP is 0.127 millimeters, I think, and the ACF is 1.3 millimeters thick. So if you are not going to relevel your build plate and you're going to put in a vat with an ACF, there's a big chance that you are going to crack the screen. So make sure that you relevel the ACF. Then we have the next thing, and that is going to be durability over time. I had a few close calls, I think. I have so, uh, some little marks in the FEP, and it seems to perform really great under stress. While I changed, I think, about five times my FEP sheet because I have the smallest little puncture, it looks to me that the regular NFAP is a lot more fragile than the ACF. The ACF is really rubbery, and the regular NFAP is really plasticky. Now, what do you get in return? You get massive print speeds. However, the testing that I did, the, so the 300 millimeters a minute, I don't think you can take that number and slam it on any resin printing project that you are going to do, because this has been printed like this. Now, if you are going to print five of the same models in one big build volume, then I think that the ACF would start to feel the pressure, let us say. But if we compare oranges with oranges, it is very noticeable that the NFAP does create a lot more suction than the ACF. So that's going to be it for me. If you want to see the Jupiter print even faster, like about 400 millimeters a minute, I don't know if that's even possible. But if you want to see it, press the thumbs up because all the 500 likes, I'm not going to do it. So it's all up to you. Push that button, share it with your friends. Let me know if this testing was interesting to you. If you have learned something, put it all down in the comments. And why don't you subscribe and watch some more videos on the channel? All right, that's going to be it. And I see you in the next one.